Hello, this is Ashi from Crafty with Ashi, and welcome to this video. I've got a little mini envelope album to show you today, and this is just made from ten, um, ten envelopes. And I'm going to show you how to do the basic construction, and then you can of course decorate it however you want. But let me just sh show you it straight for us now. This is our pressed petals designer series paper. So this piece here on the front measures four by six. And then I've got here, I've stamped this in um, Blackberry Bliss and then cut it out with our stitched rectangle dies. And the, the stamps that I've used for that is this one that's uh, this one, it's an old one, Beautiful You. And that's just that one there that I've used. Okay, let me show you the album. I've actually put pictures in it already. So on one side I've got pictures here. And then the other side I've got the Press Petals Designer Series paper. And at the bottom here I've got these little definitions. So this one's called Bundle of Joy, a newborn, a baby that is swaddled and snuggly. And this is a picture of my cousin Nate when he was a little baby. Okay, so I just want to show you the stamps that I used for that. And that's called this one Praiseworthy Prose. And has all these different definitions for grateful, celebrate, family, bundle of joy, way to go, a cheerful friendship. Okay. And so that's what I've done through the whole album. I've got a picture here, some designer series paper here, and then I've got this little definition here. And if you want to put any journaling, you can always tuck that in. You could always just stick this down on... Um, I've stuck up the whole thing down, but you could always just stick it down on this corner and in that corner, and then you could tuck in a tag here, which would explain what the pictures are. The other place you can put journaling in is you have this pocket here for the envelope. So you've got a pocket there, as you can see. Um, something to put in the pocket. Let's see. So you've got a pocket there, you see. So you can also put your journaling tag in there, or you can put another photo mat in there for extra photos, whatever you want. So I've got photos here. This is friendship, and this is a picture of myself and two friends from school. And this again is family. So these are my cousin Sheila and it's her grandson Nate and her partner. And this is grateful. And I'm grateful for our beautiful garden. And this shows a picture of our wonderful um, rhododendrons as they were in the spring. Next one says, way to go, well done. There's a picture of my cousins on their wedding anniversary. So you can see here, cheerful. Again, my cousins, this is Justin, this is Nate's father. Very happy on her birthday. Celebrate. This was two of my friends, two of my fellow demonstrators, Helen and Brenda, at um, Stampin' Up! convention when Helen won a free stamp set family and this shows some more cousins of mine and their daughter Jessica and the last one I've left blank and this is my favorite flowers tulips and you can see there and I've got the beautiful designer series paper of obviously on every page as you could see you know really nice paper okay so and on the back I've got a piece again so I think it's nice it's just something simple and beautiful so I just want to show you how I made it so you need 10 of our envelopes these are our normal C6 envelopes okay and you're going to take your first envelope and open it out like this just make sure it stays open like that and you're going to take each envelope and you want to open up the flap with the you know with the pocket bit to the back the flap open and you're going to push it in like that into your, and if you can see that, see, you're just going to slide it in like that, and then you're going to fold it over and press it down. Now, when you put it in here, you want it to stick. This is going to be your pocket on the front, so you want it to stick here. So, what I do is I take my old nemesis, the Tombow, and hope it'll work, and you're just going to take it just so it will stick, just a, a very thin bead of glue there. You're just going to stick it down like that. Okay, 
so there we have our first piece okay and you just want them to match like they do here so you want to make sure that it's all the way in like you see here okay so fold that over and we're going to do the same again turn our envelope pocket to the back and we're going to slip that flap in fold it down and again where we've pushed it in here we're just going to put a little bit of glue to hold it in place so then we still got our pocket on the front there okay and we're going to continue doing the same thing so in like that and if you just want to go in just coax it gently fold it to the back make sure you always fold down on your score line just a little bit of glue it doesn't have to be a lot it just needs to stick in there so we do the same again all the way until we've done all our 10 envelopes okay so our last envelope I'm going to be putting in now and one thing I wanted to just did want to say is put your envelope in first don't put your glue on first because otherwise you'll never get this to go in properly um, it's a pain so it's much easier to just put it in first and then just put a bit of glue at the top you don't need anything more than that okay so we have our 10 envelopes in and now we're just going to use as our binding the flap of our front envelope so just make sure everything's down nicely like that and then we're going to use this wrap it round and we're just going to put some glue on this tab here as usual me and Tombo don't have the best relationship but hey ho we're just going to put some glue there and then just stick it down and if you're like me Tombo will go everywhere but as you if you've watched my videos before you'll know me and Tombo are not great friends but in this case you do need to use Tombo okay and don't worry about that but you're going to cover that with a designer series paper so you can see here you have your album on the one side with your pocket you're going to have right through you can see and that's how you make your envelope album and then you decorate it as I have here all of these pieces of designer series paper are 4x6 and that just gives you this little bit of a border then I've used here some blushing bride at the back here and this is 4x6 initially I did think I cut down my photos smaller so I actually punched as you can see on some of them you might be able to see uh, find one where you can see you can see like here oh, or there you can see um, I did do a fancy corner rounding but there's no need because unless you cut your photo small it just you know as you can see here you don't see it at all so my mat at the back is 4 by 6 uh, and these are 4 by 6 photos so I just trim them tiny bit down to a half an inch either way so they would fit if you wanted to be totally 4 by 6 well then just stick your photo down and you don't need any mat underneath it at all really your choice but I used I wanted to have a little border around so I've used blushing bride and then I've used here blackberry bliss as well because those are the colours in the paper it's blushing bride here blackberry bliss blackberry bliss blushing bride as you can see blushing bride here again and then once I stuck it down I stamped my little um, quotes here in black ruby sink and I just cut them out you know um, put them in the trimmer and cut around the quote you could then use a die if you want or something I found it difficult because they're all different sizes and I didn't want lots of extra white cardstock but again you could mat this as well put a little piece of colour cardstock behind it but 
to be honest I thought the white just stood out really beautifully against the, this pattern paper here and then of course you can make another photo mat to go in here this would easily hold a 4x6 photo in here as well you know if you wanted you can easily put in a 4x6 in there so there you go my little um, envelope photo album I think it's really cute it's really nice it's small it's dinky you know you could have this in your handbag when you go away to show people photos and stuff so I really like it and I hope you do too um, Press Petals Designer Series Paper is gorgeous so please have a look at that and if you want any information about the measurements or anything to do with making this album everything will be on the blog post that goes with this on my website if you enjoyed this video I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know and don't forget to subscribe to future videos until next time enjoy being creative bye